You're worried right now, dude. Cause you know you're a part of this. Hey! You're supposed to cook. Ew! Oh, Brian just showed me the contents of his mouth. What's going on guys, I am Matthias, and today we're looking at 10 strange things found at Target. Brian went to Target.com and the Target and he found a bunch of things that we're gonna look at today and maybe even test out that are strange. And I'm gonna let you know whether we should cash it or trash it, whether it's good or bad after each item, okay? Also click that bell icon next to my channel name on desktop and on mobile to get notified of when I upload videos because I will be commenting back for the first 30 minutes of every upload. Also, sometimes I live stream for 10 minutes before, so you might want to click it so you don't miss it. Demolition Lab. What is this? Demolition Lab. Smart Lab Toys Demolition Lab. What? Okay, so you build together this whole little set and then you press a button and like it falls down? That's it? Why don't you just do the same thing with Legos? You know, I used to do that with Legos. I used to like build this whole thing. I'd be like, wonder if it can survive the second story, mom. She's like, don't do it again. <laughs> just like drop it. And then just explodes into a million pieces all over the house. And I'm like, looks like it didn't. Gotta retry. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> Back to the drawing board, mom. She's like, I hate this little kid. I always regret having kids. <laughs> I'm just kidding, mom. Does she watch your videos? No. <laughs> Kaboom! First thing it says, kaboom! The mind-blowing demolition labs let kids build unlimited warehouse structures and then demolish them with strategically placed blasters. All getting inside science of energy and momentum and gravity! Includes triple blast detonator with sound and three blasters. Oh, those things just push the sides, essentially. Right there, that thing just like, is like, bah, 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 bah and it just shakes it. Bought this for my eight-year-old son, who not only loves to build, but also loves to destroy. Right out of the box, he realized that one of the three detonators didn't work. Disappointing. Okay, basically they're just saying this product is crap. Yeah. yeah, once he walked away from it, I quickly boxed it up and put it on my trunk to return to Santa. He never asked for it or about it since. Oh, definitely did not leave much of an impression. Or you give your kids so many toys, he can't even remember all the toys that he has. He's just like moving on to the next toy. I'm gonna say trash it. Also, if you're part of that notification squad, if you click that bell icon, let me know you up in here by clicking that like button. Do it for Papa. <laughs> Item number two. Oh, geez, I hurt my ear holes. Look at this, dude, what is this? Soft and bouncy, bright up and fun. Pop colors, sky bouncer pucks. Even it looks small for him though. Look how small it is. I'm gonna have to run around with this thing and like break in my back. Come on, Brian. Oh, Sky Bouncer, I remember now. These are the little things that bounce everywhere. That didn't work. Oh! This is my new jam, dude. I don't even care about the hockey thing. This right here is my jam, dog. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, 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 it was a fake out, bro. Oh. What are you even aiming for? Oh. I'm gonna honestly, I'm gonna do away with these things. I don't care about these. These are what's up. Get it for these things, because these things are fun. What was the, the last Target episode, you found the, a giant one of these. The, the big that was fun if you got two people. This is more fun if you got just yourself. You know, if you're a loner. If you're like, I don't need people, friends, i.e., lovers, whatever. Husbands, wives, grandmothers, daughters, brothers, you don't need them. Now you got the Sky Bounce Mini. Camera. Woo! Did that do anything? No. Poop. El Fun and Friends Chasin' Cheeky Game. <laughs> Chasin' Cheekies? Is it literally called Chasin' Cheekies? Because I'm pretty sure you can get arrested for that. Okay, so she's running. What's the deal with this? What is, what is the point of this? What do you do? What? You just run around and try to get the item to land on the monkey's butt? What are you laughing at? What you're saying. What? Why, are you, why is this funny? This is weird, dude. This is creepy. Chasing Cheeky? This is weird. What is, how is this advertising the game at all? 
Get on with it, dude! I'm gonna skip. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, it's the official this, music video. Official music video. Okay, I thought you were actually showing me how to use the product. Here we go. Gotta love Hasbro, but sometimes they're a little off their marker. You take your little cheeky monkey and you Oh, turn the cheeky his monkey moves around. Cheeky That's why you gotta chase him. He gets stuck. He gets stuck on those things though. His tail first, all the colors. Not necessarily a great design. What? Is that a banana? I'm gonna trash it. What is, oh, what's with all the animal stuff, dude? You remember in the Toys R Us episode where I was like squeezing the cactus popper? Is this that same thing? It's almost like a concept. It's, same concept. We got darts now, okay? So it may potentially work. Squeeze to launch! Animal dart popper. I thought it was gonna say pooper it better. Look at these mini little darts. Can you do me a favor, Brian? Can you go get the the Nerf gun, the Triad Nerf gun. I want to see if the Triad Nerf gun will shoot these. I don't I don't know about that, dude. I just don't know about that. I'm gonna push this in there as far as it can go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's stuck to my screen. Oh my gosh! It, I can't get it off my screen. Oh, that was intense. Brian is not going to expect this. Okay, so when he comes back in, I'm gonna pretend, I'm gonna pretend like it sucks. And I'll be like, watch, and I point at his face. <laughs> this is actually not bad. Oh, Brian's back. Look at how stupid this is, dude. <laughs> that actually has some force to it. He was like, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a dud. <laughs> Look at this, dude. This is intense. What? <laughs> Watch, I'm gonna shoot it at the camera. Oh! So now the question is, will it work on this? No, it won't. It's too much. It won't. It won't even work. Still in there. <laughs> nope, too short. But it will work with the killer unicorn. How, how weird. This unicorn is just all nice and pretty, and then all of a sudden you're like, ah! Shooting out death from its mouth. Dude, what? We gotta like mess with people about this, dude. Let's go around the office and be like, dude, check this out. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Some I force. think it's more powerful than some Nerf guns. How does that work, dude? Oh, oh, it sticks so bad. <laughs> Smell it. Oh. Uh. I'm about to show you guys the coolest product that shoots darts. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna see it? Watch how intense this is. Pull this thing. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> right where it was, dude. One more time, one more time. It's hard to aim though. Oh, it's really hard to aim. Because when you shoot, it like moves the face a little bit. Here, do it again. More time. Kevin's face. That's the target. Oh! Did I get your it's face? Yeah. <laughs> the only part my hand wasn't covered. That's a cash it. <laughs> Slurpee, make your own with juice or soda. Prepare. Oh, that's a different language. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's excited. I don't know, man. This looks kind of cool. Look at this. How does it work, though? Because it can't like be gen be making it cold enough. You probably have to put cold stuff in it, which is self defeating. Don't waste your money. Why would Target carry such a waste of a product not made to contain liquid? <laughs> Might as well just dump a glass of fluid on your floor. That's where it'll end up. Holy junk. All bad reviews. Garbage. This is the worst. Horrible return. Slurpy flaw. Worst piece of cheap plastic. My 11 year old received this as a gift. She cannot use it without help, yet she's capable of using sewing machines. <laughs> <laughs> Red Hawaiian punch everywhere it leaks. Okay, that's not a good idea. Oh my gosh, wait, that kid is way too excited. Man, his straw is way too long, that's what she said. Drink maker. What? Grab some of your favorite drink. Add your ice, drink, and stir. Create okay. Some flavors to make your own frozen drinks. Ew, Cherry that just looks like poop. Wine. So many flavors to choose from. Slurpee drink maker. Big on I... 
But why doesn't it work? What's the difference between just putting this into an actual blender? That's a trash it. Sorry, kids. I really actually wanted to make Slurpees. Guys, guys, I'd be snapping. I'd be snapping it up, yo. So follow me on Snapchat, at MatthiasIM. Here's my snap code. Boom! Snap it, baby. Snap it and follow me. Next product. Oh! What? 35 below socks. Aerospace fabric technology. Aluminized fibers. What does that mean? No more cold feet. Perfect for indoors and outdoors. Small, medium, women's shoe. Men's shoe, six to eight. Hmm. That's all he had. <laughs> that ain't gonna fit my foot, bro. Sure. I got a man size 12, son. How does it, how does it propose to keep my thing, my fingers, my feet warm, machine, wash, blah, blah, blah. Where's the science? It just looks like sparkly socks. I feel like I'm getting scammed here, guys. Because I feel like the reality of the situation is, is that they just made a pair of sparkly socks. Oh, they're heavy though. I think they're just sparkly socks. Do you see this right now? Look how inconsistent that is. It looks, look, that is not aluminum. This is not like aerospace technology. This is tin foil. No, this is stretchy. Look, I'm, I'm peeling that right now. That is tinsel. That's tinsel in a sock, y'all. Wouldn't this do the opposite? Wouldn't this take heat out of your foot to then displace it? Because heat moves. I did buy a bucket and ice. Stop. I'm gonna grab some ice with my hand and I'm gonna see if this actually can keep my hand warm. Hi. My name is Sockface, and I suck. Okay, so here's what here's how I'm gonna compare it. The part that doesn't have the aluminum, I'm gonna feel that. Okay. Feels pretty cold. Now, I'm gonna have the aluminum side. Got way colder, way quicker. <laughs> way colder, way quicker. It was actually profound. The difference was actually huge. This actually helps displace heat out of your body. It has the reverse effect. It's literally a conductor yeah. to remove heat from your body. <laughs> what? Who got fooled by these? It's like way quicker. But it's you feel it way yeah. better. That is incredible. So guys, if you wanna keep your feet cool, then use these. But I'm, I'm afraid that you're gonna like get like tinsel splinters because it's rough, dude. Tiki head bubble machine. Bubble machine. So it spits out bubbles? Dude, this is horrible, man. Reappropriation of culture, man. <laughs> this machine is definitely not worth the plastic it's made with, let alone got this machine for a family reunion and all the kids were excited until we put the batteries in and it was an epic fail. It blew four bubbles for 60 seconds. Terrible item, not worth the price. Great. <laughs> Who doesn't love a tiki that spits out bubbles? Oh, my toddler fainted when she saw this thing in action. Fainted? Maybe because they were scared of its scary freaking face right there, dude. It was like, <laughs> walks outside, ah! falls over and like, she loves it so much. She just loves it. Trash it. Caramel Crunch. Oh, it's cereal. Oh, it's Girl Scout cereal. Flavored with other natural flavors in bold. It's so big, <laughs> nice. they like try and hide it. Yeah, right? Okay, limited edition. Maybe that's a good thing. Sweetened whole grain corn cereal. It's supposed to be the Samoas, but it doesn't say Samoas. Nowhere on the box does it say the name of that actual cookie? Because they're not saying it, so when it doesn't taste like it, they're not like, we didn't say it tasted like Samoas. Maybe. They look like dirty Cheerios. <laughs> Some real dirty Cheerios up in here. Hey, what are we gonna do with all those Cheerios that touch the floor? I just packaged them up and put some sugar on them and call them Girl Scout cookies. No one will know the difference. Ooh, not what I thought. What they were gonna smell like. So what I initially just smelled was coconut. It does smell like Samoas. And caramel. Where coconut and caramel together in the Samoa, beautiful, good. Artificial flavoring of coconut, artificial flavoring of caramel in a corn snack. We're about to find out. Interesting. I can't taste the coconut. 
but I can smell it. Seriously, that's the only thing this smells like right now. But I can't even taste the coconut. How bizarre. Not bad. No, it's with milk. With milk? Mama sits up a pizza. Your Spanish is on point. I say this is a cash it. Yum! Before we review and look at the next couple of products, make sure you subscribe by clicking that subscribe button down below if you're new here because we make videos Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Mop Robot. iRobot Brava Jet 240 Mopping Robot. I looked into these. I've, looked, I've seen this before. You know what's funny? You have to consistently watch it. You have to like babysit it almost. You have to consistently wring it out and change the mop. It's like a Swiffer. And it's not like actually scrubbing. Like if you actually get down in there and like scrub, yeah. you know, scrub something. It's just not practical. However, I do have a robot vacuum cleaner, which is the epitome of something that you don't need. But it works well. If you have hard floors, if you have like actual like hard floors like tile or wood, holy junk, it works well. I have Nido, I have the brand Nido, not, I, uh, not iRobot. So utterly surprised, I bought it just just because I was like, maybe they've changed over the course of time. I'll buy it and return it if it doesn't work. And I bought it and I was like, holy crap, it picks up so much stuff. And this was after Amanda already cleaned. And I was like, Amanda. Step up, your game. Step up your game, this robot's gonna take over your job. And she's like, good. And I was like, uh oh. <laughs> Most helpful positive review. Fill it with water, push the button, turn on Netflix. <laughs> good to know. Most helpful negative review. This item kept going to corners and other objects and getting stuck. I would also spray and leave puddles on the floor to took it back. Here's an issue with the iRobot series, or at least when I looked at them. iRobot, the vacuums bounce around. The Nito one that I have, Actually, <laughs> actually, <laughs> Brian's done, dude. He's done. <laughs> the Nito one that I have actually systematically moves throughout the room, and you can actually tell that it actually, 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 actually gets every little bit of the room. So it's actually quite impressive. Ew, dude, that's creepy. <laughs> it was like. <laughs> Yeah, what was that, dude? Did someone just bleed out? <laughs> what happened? Oh, see, this one says it systematically goes through the room. It, but I'm not so sure it does. See, it says it does. You see that down there? Advanced. So, oh, and then it just went left! Oh, I see it's doing this. I don't know, I'd have to see it in action. Mine actually does that. Sarah would love that thing. Why don't you get it for her, dude? We have a robot. What robot? A vacuum robot. The same as I do? Uh, it was a D-Bot. Is it a mobile? Is it a mobile pro? <laughs> no, it's a mobile! It's a mobile pro! Inside joke from a secret link down in the description below. I don't know. I'm gonna in the middle of cash it or trash it. Cause I'd have to test it out and I don't want to give a bad review before I've tested it out. But I know some robot backs actually work quite well. Ew, jalapenos? Ugh. It's not good. Jalapeno, only, only communists eat. <laughs> just kidding. Everyone got shook in the last video when I was like, what are you, a communist? I'm just assuming. We actually haven't uploaded it yet, but I'm assuming people got shook. Because that's the world these days. People, you know, outrage culture. Ah! Ready in just minutes. What is it, dude? It's the chip on the outside and gook on the inside? Not gook, it's cheese and jalapeno. I don't like melted cheese, man. A lot of instru- Oh, I just thought it was numbered 1 through 12 here, but it's like 6 and then 6. Okay, so we toaster oven and conventional oven. There's no microwave, dude. So you know what that means, right? We have to eat it frozen. You're worried right now, dude. Because you know you're a part of this. Brian always buys these things that require a conventional oven. What? This is the only one? Yeah, oh, conventional no. oven or a toaster oven. Oh, nice. The Twinkies need an oven. The Oreo... No. The one. Oreo churros need an oven. Yeah, they did. You should buy an oven for the office. This is it, dude. You're gonna have to try it. When we launched the Team Edge gaming channel, everyone was like, What's next? Team Edge cooking? Like, sar sarcastically. Everyone was like, Dude, that sounds awesome. And then like all the comments were just like, dude, Team Edge cooking. <laughs> just like as its own channel, dude. And the more I think about it, the more I'm like, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> cooking challenges? People would definitely watch that. Oh no, I'm giving away ideas. Oh. Here you go, Brian. Hey! It tastes like Dorito. What's inside it? Oh, you didn't get a piece of the gook. You didn't even bite it. Yeah, I bit it. Yeah. I just let go real quick. 
<laughs> you got crust. That's all. Ew, dude! Crusty! You just got crusties in your mouth, Ew. dude. So, we recommend cooking these first. <laughs> You're supposed to cook- Ew! Oh, Brian just showed me the contents of his mouth. Oh, stop, dude! I see you in a reflection! <laughs> stop, dude. Put it away right now, dude. It's away. Actually, these would probably be really good when they're cooked. I'll take them home. Take them home, you pervert. How's that being a bird? <laughs> Guys, make sure you check out that video right there. That is 10 strange things found at Walmart. And you can see in the thumbnail, I have this deflated balloon that, that we are slapping around. It was a lot of fun. Click it. I'll meet you over there in just one second. See you then. High five.